what I'm here for. It's so pretty. Just take it all in. We decided to get off the main street and we found this super cute little plaza. I'm gonna hang out in the shade over here for a minute. to Kassam Brewery and Tacos. Cervezaria. <laughs> We're gonna try some beer, maybe eat some tacos. Oh, it's so cute. This is one of the back roads, so it's not as busy, which is nice. So Kusam actually stands for the bird swallow, and it's the bird of Casimo, the swallow. So you'll see them all. So Gabrielle and her husband Sergio opened this in March of 21. They started brewing at home by themselves, and since then they've branched out, and now he brews all their beer they make here, and they're always rotating weekly what they make. They always try to have an IPA on tap. Um, we have three different kinds of seltzers, and I actually have the Jamaican hard seltzer right now, which is really good, so I would love to try their other seltzers. She also says that Sergio makes their own salsa, too, and actually taught their chef how to make all of his salsas and all of the foods that he wanted on the menu, so he is a jack of all trades. She said that they, they pretty much put this place together themselves, because it used to be a steakhouse, and the people who had this place before, they had an electrical fire in the kitchen, and they never told the landlord about it, so everything had to be redone. All the lights in here, all the fans had to be redone by them, and, and they did this all themselves. And they've just been building it up for the last almost two years now. So I'm really glad we, we came to this place. She said there's only one other brewery on the whole the Pazamel. Um, so, you know, it's a growing industry and that's why we're branching out and trying to find all these local places. So Mike's beer is called a Jim's IPA, New England IPA, 6% with a 69 IBU. All right, so I got a Christmas ale and it's 4.5%, 12 IBUs. So this said that has ginger, cinnamon, and chili. Isn't that awesome? I've never had anything like that before. Well, what do you think? Yours? Is it good? Yours goes out real easy, yeah. Yeah. Spicy pineapple habanero. I'll try a little, little bit of that one. It's super spicy. This was the medium one. Chipotle flavor. And then tomato, which I probably will like the best. This one's not spicy at all. I'm gonna try the spicy one first because I'm feeling bold. Maybe I'll just sample it first. Not terrible. I wonder if I have to wait a minute for it to kick in. Chipotle. Mmm, good flavor. Wow. Was it good? The flavor's good. And now the tomato one, which I'm sure I'll love. Yeah, it's delicious. They're all really good. It wasn't this. 
spicy as I thought it was going to be, though. Probably the chipotle. That's what flavor is. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, we're at the trigger point. Local trigger fish, lettuce, chipotle mayo, and caramelized pineapple. I've been trying fish that I haven't had before on this vacation, so I don't know. I like fish, so hopefully I like trigger fish. Might get some beer cheese. She said they only brew it with their own beer when they have lagers on tap, right? Because right now they don't. Um, so they outsource that here. And then I got trigger fish tacos. So I'm really excited to try these. I always put wine on. When I have wine coming with my meal, I always put it on there. It adds so much flavor. I was really interested in the caramelized pineapple yeah. that comes on here. You see that? Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, wow, this is really good. Very authentic. Very good. I love it. Thumbs up. I'm gonna get a little bit of this fish by itself. Trigger fish, I've never had it before. Honestly, tastes like chicken. Oh, really? With just a little hint of fish, fishy flavor to it, but it's a little tougher. Pretty mild. Than like a salmon fish. That's what gives me the the chicken flavor. But it's really good anyway. I like that. That beer cheese is so creamy and flavorful. Do you wish you got this one? Oh, so good. Well, I did get it because I'm going to eat some of yours, aren't I? Mm. Very tasty. Okay, eat your own food. Mm -hmm. Or oh, don't want me to eat all your beer cheese? <laughs> is it good? Mike is getting crazy now. He added some chipotle salsa to his beer cheese. Oh, you want me to try it? He said it was even better than the regular beer cheese. This is not on their menu, but it's good. Wow. He's going to do some more and he loved it so much. That's the chipotle, yep. Yeah. It's like a medium spiciness. So together, we're gonna kill it. Oh. That is very, very good. Can I say the music here? I'm loving it right now. It's like 70s, 80s rock music. If you get a chance, check out their, their website. We've already liked it. They've got their address, their email. I'm gonna change into my shirt, but I just had to record this super cute little bathroom she has here. Not much, it's really small, but it's, it just seems so authentic. Little tiny bathroom in a Mexican restaurant. Cute artwork, that's the island of Cozumel. Must be all animals from Cozumel. Oh, well, they have stickers here too. I might have to get one of those. Okay, I'm gonna change into my new shirt. Spanish is a little rusty, but I think this sign says, why limit a happy hour to just one? This is a museum. Museum of the Island of Cozumel. Wow. Looks like they have a little cafe up there. Here's yep. our ship. We're heading back now. Yep. Gabrielle at the restaurant told us that the streets had swallows on them, and I knew I saw something like that earlier, but now you can really see them. There's just little imprints all over the road. 
the island of Cozumel is the Mayan word for swallow. Hence why you see swallows everywhere. Day seven is our last day, and every day I come here and got money. It's about six dollars a day, but it's worth it. I've got an iced sugar cookie almond milk latte. There's this thing on Norwegian cruise lines, and probably on other cruise lines too, but where you hide little ducks on the ship in random places. And Mike and I went searching today, and we found these two in the Christmas decorations. So we're going to take them home for Sophie. They're so cute. They put little things on each one that says the um, person's name, and you can rehide it if you want, or you can keep it for yourself. But right now, we're gonna play some shuffleboard. Anyways, there's nobody out here. This is deck seven. Just wasting time until the gelato place opens. Oh, I got a 10. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the eight. No, 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 no. Oh, I got two tens now. Okay, I have one ten. White chocolate blueberry, please. Now back to the phone in a cup, please.
disembarkation day. I'm really sad, but we're gonna try to go get breakfast at the buffet one more time before we get off the ship, and then come back and finish packing. Enjoying my last breakfast now. Taking a view of New Orleans. Yes. Have a safe trip back home. Thank you. Thank you for pushing me back. Bye. See you. See you later. <laughs>
to Johnny's Po' Boys. Heard they have the best Po' Boys in town. It smells so good in here and it is very busy. We're gonna have to wait. I ordered a half shrimp po' boy with an uh, order of gumbo and then I got like a chicken tender po' boy but they only accept cash so I had to go to the ATM and take out some money but I feel like a lot of places in New Orleans only accept cash so we had to get some for that. show you what's in here. She asked me if I wanted all the dresses and I said yes. Lettuce, mayonnaise, tomato pickle. I did not put tomato pickle on yours. These are my little shrimps. Mm, those look good. Like panko fried. And then my seafood gumbo. easy we had heard of called potions and it's located above Fritzel's jazz pub so that's where we headed next After enjoying live music, Mike and I headed out back to find the entrance to the speakeasy, where I made a new friend. And if you want the password, you simply have to go to Boutique Du Vampire downtown and ask for it.
a local IPA called Holy Roller, and it's a juicy IPA. He usually doesn't try those, but it actually is really, really tasty. I'm more of a, like a fruity beer yeah. person. We're trying to um, time the rotation of the carousel, and we're nine minutes right now, and we're over halfway there. So we're both thinking it's going to be about 15 minutes to make it all the way around this room. We'll see. for us to go all the way around on the carousel Definitely. and we've been here how long an hour so we've gone around four times now we're gonna go get some pizza for dinner
Okay, we got the Cafe Du Monde beignets. Now we can compare with Cafe beignet. Wow, look at all that powdered sugar. It's like they just dumped some on top. So these are a lot smaller than the ones that we got at Cafe Beignet. All right, and they're very, very messy because there's so much powdered sugar. Let's see. You know, I don't know. Instead of having like an airy, like really airy light on the inside, these are kind of like gooey, more cakey on the inside. I don't know if I, I think I might like them better. Really kind of doughy inside. Yeah. Um, I love the flavor. Very messy. They're, you're right. They're it's doughy. not as it's not as airy as cafe beignets were, but the the flavor. Delicious. I think they're equally as good. People were saying cafe beignets were better, but. I think they're the same. They just taste different. Look at this mess. Better than donuts. Way better. It seems like there's a waste of powdered sugar because there's so much still left in the bag. They were much smaller than cafe beignets. They were still delicious though. I know some people are gonna hate me for this, but I did not get the original cafe au lait. I got a frozen and it's delicious. One more fun fact I learned. Cafe au lait, if you order it like that, it's half coffee, half milk. So that's what my frozen drink is, just half coffee, half milk frozen. Look at this spot we chose to sit down and eat our beignets. some upside down oysters for the first time. I'm gonna get the feel to those. taking them out of the shell with the knife. It was called cutting it. Mm. Shucking is when you actually pull apart the shell yeah. and then you cut out the oyster after it's cooked. He said this is the only place where they do upside down oysters in New Orleans. Mm. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can get this right. not spicy. I was afraid it would be spicy. It's got some peppers in this. I wonder what this is they put on top. It's got oh, some lattice kind of seasonings. So he cooked um, he cooked them in a buttery sauce and then yeah some spices added on top after he cut them off and then this stuff he added is like yeah it's like a salsa. Yeah. It's got a lot of um, vegetables salsa. and peppers in it yeah, and you get all that butter in it too. Oh I think when you're done I think you're supposed to put them upside down when you're done, right? Yep. Oh, I guess I do have a spoon. You don't need that. I don't need a spoon. Finished. Now you're supposed to dip your bread and all this extra Creole butter at the bottom of the plate. Overall, exactly what I wanted and more. Very, very good. It wasn't spicy. I was afraid it was going to be uh, really spicy, but... It was actually really, really good. I enjoyed it. 
Cheers. Okay, this is Canal Street. Lots of shopping, big skyscrapers, hotels. Right now we're gonna go get on our streetcar that's gonna take us to the Garden District today. I'm still reminiscing about those oysters I had. Okay, our last stop on this New Orleans trip is the Garden District. And um, we're gonna try to walk by a cemetery and get some footage of that. And then we're gonna go to Joey K's for lunch. Um, I heard that they have some really good seafood there and I like seafood. And then Mike said there was stuff on the menu that he would like. He does not like seafood. because of the water level in New Orleans. Lafayette Cemetery number one, founded in 1833, has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior, February 1st, 1972. It's too bad it's closed, but it's kind of grown over. I'm sure they have um, caretakers though. I wasn't going to get anything to drink, but um, I talked myself into it. Breaded and fried eggplant medallion stacked with fried shrimp and topped with crawfish cream sauce. Yum! Eggplant, shrimp, and the cream sauce. Fantastic. Here's the eggplant. This is what I've been wanting. Wow. I just gotta say, I'm devouring this right now. This is delicious. And the sauce, I'm gonna have to learn how to make this at home. It's so good. It's just so flavorful. That's because once today is not enough for a beignet. 